How's it going today everybody and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. Well, Milwaukee's been watching what we're doing and listening to what we've been saying and finally addressed a problem that everybody's had. At least the guys with pickup trucks with tonneau covers and canopies. Since day one, the guys with the rolling toolbox just won't fit underneath your tonneau cover or your canopy. So, what everybody's been doing is doing mods. You know to remove the handle you have little quick release buttons that i've in fact tried before and the ones i ordered online were absolute junk i went to thread them in and they broke off in my hand so i just went back with a regular handle so instead of making a removable handle milwaukee's finally gone and made a lower profile handle so you can still have the handle to roll your pack out around and it'll clear underneath your tonneau cover or the bottom of your canopy doors. At least if you have a setup like this, you don't have to unlock the top to be able to put your pack out away. So I picked up this on the weekend. The Milwaukee pack out, low profile handle for pack out rolling toolbox. Part number 48-22-8027. Well, in this video, I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna install it and I'm gonna see if it'll roll underneath my canopy doors or for the guys with the tonneau covers your tonneau cover I'm not going to try it beforehand I'm just going to do the swap and we'll see if it clears here we go let's open up the kit and see what we got really we got our handle and that's it So it looks like quite an easy swap. And all you do, undo your screws, pull your old handle out, and slide your new one down in place and reinstall your screws. What's everybody think? Is it gonna fit? There's only one way to find out. Pull our screws out. Handle up. Grab our new one. Feed it back down. And put our screws back in. And you lift up your handle. Same as the other one. Just like your other one, just press the button and lower it down. Now the question is, is it going to clear? The answer to that is... Yes. Lots of room. Now one thing I didn't think about checking is uh, the overall height of the handle in the extended position. Is the new one lower in a fully extended position or do you still get the same height as the old one? Well let's measure it and find out. The new one from the ground to the top of the handle we're looking at about 43 and a half inches. Now I'm going to put the old one on, fully extend it and see how it matches up. And the old handle, the original one comes in at about 44 inches. Only about a half inch taller than the new one. I'd like to know what everybody thinks. Let me know in the comment section. In my opinion, just the time savings and not having to remove the handle, it's gonna more and pay for itself. And also, every time you remove that handle and throw it in the back of your truck, you run a risk of getting it bent, getting it damaged, and then it won't even go in your pack out anymore. So, you still have the handle, it's fully protected and you got plenty of room. Well, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button, notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when I get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. Have a good night and keep wrenching.